it, it, it almost seems surreal to think that I've known Sonny for going on close to, to 14, 15 years now. Uh, I began my journey at UA Fort Smith in 2002. Uh, I became a member of the Spirit Squad uh, from there on and formed a relationship with Sonny whenever he came on campus. And I can remember the only thing that we heard about Sonny Weems at the time was, is we've got the number one junior college prospect in the country and he's coming to UA Fort Smith. We had absolutely no idea what was about to transpire over the next two years. And so some of the fondest memories that I have are uh, they began every game with the exact same play. Uh, Achilopasos was, uh, it seemed like he was like nine feet tall, uh, but he would begin every jump ball tip at the very beginning of the game. And as soon as the referee took that ball and threw it up in the air, Sonny was halfway down the court because as soon as Achilopasos caught that ball, it was an alley-oop to Sonny. And then from then on, it was 40 minutes of just electric basketball. And I can remember one game in particular uh, at pregame warm-up, Sonny had noticed that the visiting team was wearing New Balance basketball shoes. And so for those of you who don't know much about basketball shoes, New Balance is predominantly a running shoe. And so Sonny caught that in his mind and he just ran with it. And so during pregame warm-ups, you know, Sonny's got that swagger with his bounce. Uh, he's the number one junior college player in the nation. He's got stat lines like crazy, so Sonny can say anything he wants. And so uh, he'd done a couple of pregame dunks, and he had wandered back over to half court, and he said over his shoulder, he said, hey, New Balance, New Balance ain't no hooping shoe. And he'd take that basketball, and he'd run back up, slam dunk. He'd get the ball, and he'd come back, and he'd go back to half court, and he'd go over his other shoulder to tell the other team, he said, hey, I got some extra sneakers in my locker if you guys need some. But, I mean, that's just the kind of personality that, that Sonny Weems is and was. He's just larger than life and a, uh, just a very eclectic individual. Um, I was talking to, to uh, former teammate Justin Bailey about a time that they were at Seminole Junior College, and they were down at halftime. Jeremy Cox come in like a whirlwind. He's just a tornado of emotions. He's saying every four-letter word that he can think of uh, and said that Sonny just put his hand up with his towel in the air and said, hey, coach, don't worry. We're going to win. And sure enough, next thing you know, they go out and drum this team by like 20. But, I mean, that's just the kind of team that that, that was back in the day. I can remember it was nothing out of the question to, to beat teams by 40 or 50 points. And, you know, it was always a, a kind of a special moment because whenever you would hit 100 points back in the junior college days, you could have sound effects. And as soon as we would hit 100, Sonny would always see 98 up on the scoreboard, and he'd power one in for a slam dunk for 100. Preston Williams would hit that button, and cannons go off, fireworks, the sound of explosions. And you've got 2,000 UA Fort Smith Lions fans that are just going nuts, I mean, out of control. And uh, those are some of the, the memories that I have of Sonny. But on a more personal note, uh, I've gotten to know Sonny as an individual, and he's quite possibly one of... Uh, the most kind-hearted individuals that I've ever met in my entire life. We're absolutely proud of, of who you are, what you did for this institution, for our university, um, obviously um, for what you've overcome as a child with, with physical disabilities to the man and the athlete that you are today. We're, we're beyond proud of you for what you've done here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm sitting in the Sonny Weems film room right now. Um, but for what you're doing in your community of West Memphis, uh, I'm, I'm very humbled to be able to say that I, I, was, I was able to vocalize what you meant to this institution and, and also to me. I can remember a couple of years ago when Sonny came to camp um, back here to do a camp for, for kids and, and this is after he had just spent time with the Phoenix Suns and he asked me to go eat at Buffalo Wild Wings and so there's NBA Finals basketball on TV and here I am sitting with an NBA basketball player but the conversation that we just had one-on-one -on -one is, is, is genuine, and it's just all about people, and that's who he is. And so uh, from the bottom of my heart, from your buddies here in Fort Smith, um, people that know you know that this award is, is much deserved, and we are absolutely thrilled to have you in the UA Fort Smith Hall of Fame. And so uh, from all of us guys, former teammates, uh, former members of the Spirit Squad, thank you for, for what you mean to us and for what you mean to this institution. <laughs>